fellas. I don't know if y'all see what I see, but this snake right here, hands down, got to be one of my favorite rattlesnakes. Master of camouflage, and if you were not looking for one, you would completely miss it. This is a canebrake rattlesnake, Crotalus horridus atricodatus. This is a threatened rattlesnake in the state of Texas, and they are protected by the state of Texas. And it is an absolute joy every time you find one of these guys. And the thing I love about them is you can see their disposition. They really do not coil much, they don't strike much, they tend to be pretty laid back rattlesnakes. And uh, I mean, there's just not many rattlers that you can go over and just grab like that and him just not come back and want to defend himself. I mean, look at this fella, he's, he's on a mission right now. You can tell he's trying to hunt. And the way that these fellas hunt is really cool because what you'll do is you'll see them, they'll find a good tree like this laying over and they use their sense of smell to figure out where mice, rats, rodents are moving around to and they'll use that sense of smell to find where they, uh, they commonly track and then they'll just set up camp right there. They'll cool up and they'll usually put their head right at the base of a tree or a fallen limb or log and they'll just wait and they are experts at waiting. I guess you could call these guys the snipers of the snake world because what they can do is just sit there and wait for Lord knows how long. And uh, they'll sit there until a rat comes over. As Soon as they see it come over, bam, quick as all get out. They'll strike, envenomate, and then they just got themselves a nice prey item. And out here we have pretty big rats, but we also have a lot of rabbits. And rabbits constitute a pretty main diet for these guys. They feed pretty heavily on rabbits but gorgeous snake, my gosh is he pretty. And you see this black tail that he has too. We only have one other rattlesnake here in the state of Texas with a black tail and that's the northern black tail rattlesnake. But this fellow's subspecies name, Atricodatus, actually means black tail. And then of course, Horridus means horrible or terrible. That's what people named him because they're kind of scared of these guys. Why? I'm not really sure. But the people who do tend to get bitten by them, it's, it's a bad venom. I mean, they are one of the most venomous rattlesnakes in the United States. So you got to watch your grounds with these guys, even though they are pretty placid. Definitely don't just approach one because you never know the temperament of an individual one that you may come in contact with. But beautiful snake. I mean, you got to love this ground color. Hands down, one of my favorite ground colors of any snakes. To me, it just doesn't get much better than a very vivid brown stripe going down their back. I think that's so beautiful. And then he's got the telltale black bands that kind of just tiger stripe. Across his, uh, across his back. Absolutely gorgeous snake. And you can see this is a pretty healthy one too. He's a good three and a half feet long. And this is one of the biggest rattlesnakes that we have here in the state of Texas. They can get at close to around six feet. And the crazy thing is they actually average close to six feet. Like it's almost like all of these guys get that big. So beautiful rattlesnake, completely placid and just laid back, look at her, just let me admire her, let me enjoy watching her. But we're going to let her go on her way. Um, I, I hope that she does great out here. I hope that she continues to, uh, to flourish. You can see she's definitely fat, so she is successful. So we're going to let her go on her way. Don't tread on me, guys. The canebrake rattlesnake, cousin to the timber rattlesnake, okay? Beautiful snake. Praise God for this girl. I'll see you later, okay?